What had happened was so emotionally incomprehensible that it took logic in order to begin to comprehend it. Mark handed me a pen and told me to begin to write out my memories because the very act of moving a pen uses the logic part of the brain. And by using logic, it shifted what was emotionally incomprehensible into logic where I could understand, face reality, and deal with what had happened. And I began to recover at a rapid rate at that point. As I gained control over my own mind again and had free thought and free will and soul expression, I was strongly motivated to speak out on what I had learned, not out of vengeance, not out of anything negative like that. Negativity is so immobilizing. Instead, it was love for humanity. It was love for my daughter and her need for help. It was compassion. Those were the motives for me to speak out. And yet, as soon as I had deprogrammed, I had been following orders all of my life. And to learn to think for myself beyond what I had been told was a, a, a new process. It was really difficult. And thinking was like, it was like my brain would, would fall off into a black hole. And, it, and I just couldn't quite get there to make a decision for myself or to think for myself. And it took brain exercises where I began to expand my thinking, to consider other angles, other possibilities, other perceptions, to look at, at other aspects in order to begin to learn the truth. And truth is so discernible because of the strength of spirit that I had regained. It's essential that we all gain our, our strength of spirit in order to be able to grasp the truth. And the same truth that made me free can make anyone free from any level of abuse and any level of misinformation, disinformation, or limited information so that we can have a firm grasp on what's really going on. With that strength, the spirit becomes um, an, a, an ability to have an inner peace. And that inner peace is essential for um, making a positive difference in our own environment and within our own self. And by having the strength of spirit and peace within, that is a first step towards world peace. How can we have world peace if we don't have any peace within? How can we know truth if we're fearful because we're, we're ignorant? We've got to be able to learn to have our strength of spirit, to trust in the power of love, to grasp the truth, and realize that indeed it is truth that makes us free. So please, I encourage each and every one of you to go out into your, your own areas of, of life and among those that you love in your own families and raise that awareness and give them that thread of truth and give it with love because love is the most powerful force in the universe and it empowers people to have the strength of spirit to stand and make a positive difference for all of us. We need it today. Thank you. Thank you.